Massive energies are culminating and completing our final rising and ascend. An extra super intense it is as we are purging all remaining illusions of separation from our and the collective field of consciousness. Rebirthing all of creation is no small feat after all and has and is taken all we've got and all that we are as all is this. All false and artificial overlays, memories, realities, beliefs and perceptions, as well as any and all remaining traumas and wounds around our hearts. Especially around having been abandoned, left to fend for our own, rejected and attacked by those we loved, supported and cared for, are being fully healed and the memories cleared for the one consciousness. Deep cellular trauma imprints are being cleared from our bodies as a part of this bio-spiritual, as well as healing and rehabilitation process we are completing now. The ancient future collective traumas that were held in our bodies and cellular memories are being fully cleared and here to allow for our true memories to come fully online. Similar to a house clearing, we have to make space for the new to fully ignite now for the film strip to our new realities to come fully aligned. The Earth's crystal is the brain of the planet Although this is a huge simplification of its multidimensional nature. As the impulses in our body flow through the nervous system and its nodal point. And consciousness flow along the attention raised from person to person. So crystals work from planet to planet and from our universe to others. Crystals are not only portals, but also sentient beings who have intelligence and live their own lives. When one of them decides to get a new experience, for example, to become the basis of a planet or a star, co-creators move it to the right space, where they may or itself takes the most suitable form for the program functions and purposes, then it develops independently. Our Earth's crystal should be treated as an intelligent entity, not as an instrument. Our huge mistake is that we perceive it as a computer, transmitter, or reactor. This is a profound misconception. In the ancient past, earthlings could talk to it as a living being, communicate it with its soul, consciousness, and thanks to this developed, in turn imbuing it with their love and energy. They believe it's up to humankind to liberate themselves by the elimination of darkness permanently. You are receiving supreme love for millions of beings from cosmos. Your skies have been protected by the galactic light forces, who have been continuously watching for any activities from dark entities. They can't receive any more reinforcement from outside planet. I'm aware how everyone is tired of matrix and wants to move as soon as possible to the new world. It's coming despite all appearances. You see around you, the darkness is losing and needs to surround her. Their plans keep failing one after another one, like fake balloons. The truth is that nothing is working for them anymore. Their actions don't have the same effect that they had these last years. More and more humans are getting awakened and searching for answers. 
The light is crushing evil, and it will continue to do so. You are the carriers of light. Please never forget that. It's time for you to recognize your importance in this battle, as you carry the essence of God within you. This battle is about preservation of light on this planet. Lately, Mother Earth has been shaken with earthquakes in different parts around the world. Some of them are natural, others are caused by underground battles. Chaotic situations will continue until every single contaminated soul is removed from Earth permanently. We are being shown where the mind and masculine principles disregarded, abandoned, blamed, and projected upon the heart and feminine principle. Projecting his own pain, confusion, and unacknowledged shadows onto her, until our hearts close down, filled with sadness, grief, and sorrow. A wound that the feminine within us all is fully healing in this now, as the circle completes, and we return to the beginning, back to the beginning, back to the true divine love, as all of other children return to source, one way or another. As the massive inner quantum paradigm in consciousness shift and transformation is completing now, as we fully reclaim our power and realities as the divine co-creators that we are. As it was mentioned above, crystals emit beams that unite them with all others into a single rework. Crystal consciousness in an ideal medium for transmitting information. In the body of each of us, there are crystals of intention, and any our intention has a crystalline form, structuring the space for itself on a subtle plan. That is, we, ourselves, build such a crystal around us, from an environment, by it, and get what we want because we are inside this crystal. The intention of some people echoes the intention of others, forming a common individual, a single impulse of creation, unfortunately, since low vibration prevails in us. The facets of crystals, which are responsible for high aspects, are almost not involved so the entire multidimensional structure is broken, does not work due to our spiritless aspirations and evolution. 